Kore Kore people, how on a day? Welcome back to Texas TV. We don't carry another Afro Gokon Givona about waiting the stop for Palace. As the Tony Wede wishes right now, be say that Kabi FC Oba Adeyeye has entered into seclusion. Yeah, before this oncoming Olojo Festival, we heard that Kabi FC will stay indoor for some time to pray for peace in his family, to pray for peace in Hilefe and all over the nation. So right now, Kabi FC Oba Adeyeye, as we heard, Around uh, 6, as we heard from 5, 6, 7, that Kabi Esi will be indoor in meditation and in prayer, begging the gods to restore peace back in his uh, palace. Because right now, as he does so, there is a buzz buzz in the palace. For those where they follow this, Jesus Gono say the palace is not in its best state. There is serious katakata ongoing. The Oloris are trying so hard to say that they bring down Kabi AC. There are prophecies of uh, his dethronement that Kabi AC, if care is not taken, will be dethroned. So, due to all these prophecies coming and in and out of the palace, Kabi AC has decided to take time to pray for peace and most importantly to pray for Mami Tedeneka was uh, return. Because right now, Kabi AC, as we heard, is very broken and devastated with how things are going. Dr. Elizabeth has moved back to Scotland after KBSC pleaded her not to go to stay back for this Ologio festival. She refused. And at the same time, Mami said in a cow that everybody though already they rejoice say Queen Naomi will be in this Ologio festival has also left. Queen Naomi is no longer in the palace. Olobi Ashley has brought in a child that is not for KBAC. The same with Tobiloba has brought in also children that up till now she has refused that there will be a proper paternity test. And the Ronke and the Miriam on the other hand are causing serious havoc in the palace. They have refused to leave the palace. So you see that right now that only of if a palace is facing serious problem. KBAC has been enduring, thinking that things will work out between him and Mami Tedeneka. But every day by day, things keep on getting worse. But today we heard that there is good news in the palace as Queen Naomi has withdrawn a court case between her and the KBAC. Yes, KBAC was so scared that Mami Tedeneka is going to move on with this case. But when she got the news that Mami Tedenekawa, after taking advice from Parapo, has decided to withdraw the case, Kabiesi was happy. Kabiesi was jubilating that thank God Mami Tedenekawa did not push on because he knows that he is going to lose a lot if at all Mami Tedenekawa did not withdraw the case. So right now, my correct people, we heard that Kabi Ese Oba Adeyeye has entered into seclusion. Some people might be asking, what is this seclusion? Why is Kabi Ese entering into seclusion? What is going on? Is he okay? Is he not okay? We heard that Kabi Ese is perfectly fine. He is doing good. But before this Ologio Festival that is coming on the 26th of uh, September, that is uh, three days to go. Kabi AC needs to stay indoors for some time, either in the morning or afternoon or evening. He has to have a time for meditation. He has to have a time for prayers. You know, have one-on-one -on -one time with the gods. He is a traditionalist, so it is mandatory that only of if he must bring out time to spend with the gods before the Ologio Festival, and it is going to be six, seven days, though we heard that KBAC has already started on Sunday, and it is going to end in three days' time before the main Ologio Festival will start. And what he is going to be doing in this seclusion is that he is going to be praying for peace in his home because his home is not in the best state. For those that knows what is going on in the palace, 
will know that Kabi AC is, uh, you know, losing a lot. Though he has not been coming out to talk about his marital problems, but he is seriously experiencing a great marital problem in the palace. Yes, for those that are very close to Kabi AC, has been seeing how things are going. Kabi AC Oba Adeyeye is losing it, but uh, he has tried to maintain things, like some people will say. He has tried to maintain his composure so that he will not, uh, the matter will not escalate. Because KBAC is demanding that since Ashley said he is the father of the son, he is not saying that uh, he is not, but Ashley must come and appear before the Ifa shrine in order to present the child for the paternity verification to be done. Yeah, KBAC has been going in with the Olobis. He cannot deny that. He has been going in with them even though that there are warnings from the Ifa priest um, for Kabi AC to stop that the Oloris are not clean, that he, he doesn't supposed to be going in with them, but Kabi AC still disobeyed the Ifa, Ifa priest um, and was doing what he was asked not to do. Right now, he is now facing the consequences as the Oloris are bringing in children into the palace and uh, labeling it that KBSC is the father and they have refused to go for paternity tests but we pray that one day they will be exposed that this paternity test will be done whether they like it or not so that the truth will show because they don't already they drag everything with mommy Tedenekau, the crown prince the elua everything with queen nagomi because they just gave birth to a son why Mami Tedeneka world that have been in the palace for long has never dragged anything with anybody. But out of envy, out of competition, they want to take everything away from Queen Naomi. But right now we heard that KBAC is going to put them all in prayer. Yes, that is why we heard that in a day, KBAC will spend like three hours to interact with the gods. So if he wants anything, this is the time he has to beg the gods. He will speak with the gods. He will have, you know, face-to-face -face conversation with the gods because they are the one that elected him because he is the chosen one. So they will bring out time to speak with the king. So we heard that in a day, Kabir will have to spend two to three hours in seclusion in a quiet place with the gods, begging the gods to restore peace in his palace, begging the gods to bring back Momitsa Denekau, begging the gods to restore peace in all over Elefe and a lot of things that he needs to be done for him. So my correct correct people are waiting the soft for palace. As this Olojo festival, Kabi AC, as we heard, has been inviting people from all over the world to come that this year on is going to be a different one because he is going to give thanks to the gods. For blessing him with two more sons, plus Prince Tedenekao making a three sons. I bet my career people making a chuck mouth. Drop your comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, stay tuned, and stay connected. For more updates, we'll be dropping from time to time. About waiting this up for Palace as alleged.